Sometimes you come across a project that you are very excited about and this is it. I've been waiting to work on this desk for a while now and I'm definitely going to keep it for myself. Hello beautiful people, welcome to another video. My name is Jay if you're new to the channel and if you'd like to join the cool kids hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. When I got this desk I knew that it was in a very poor shape but there was just something about it and I really wanted to have it. In order to be able to actually fix it properly, but also to see what needed fixing, I took it apart. This is just really beautiful and it's solid. I'm not actually sure what it is. If you guys know, comment down below. I divided the hardware into brass and non-brass and I used rust remover and vinegar respectively to clean it. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. I'm trying to remove the top so I can deal with it and do some gluing for these uh, pieces because the other one is just coming apart and it will need a lot of repairing and it will be much easier if I just take it apart and deal with each piece separately. Fortunately, both mortise and tenon were intact, they just need regluing, and the crack next to it, that was a pretty simple fix. The legs, however, were very loose and looked quite fragile, and I was a bit worried about them. As I was taking the desk apart, I found many problems, but if I wanted to include all of them in the video, the video would probably need to be about two hours long. The veneer was in a very rough shape and lots of pieces were missing. So I looked to see whether I had a veneer that would match the one that was on the desk. Unfortunately, I didn't have the exact one, so I just used the closest one I could find. I did have an idea though how to make it work. I was unable to access the nails and the screws from the inside to take them out, so I simply cut through them and I hammered them out from the outside.
The veneer was very old and fragile and I didn't want to sand through it so I used my carbide scraper to remove the varnish. I know that some of you are going to ask, so I'm just gonna tell you. I simply don't like using paint strippers and this is just personal preference. I left the hardware overnight to soak in the rust remover and the brass hardware in vinegar. And I'm just gonna take it out now, rinse it and dry it. So the rust remover did a very good job. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you guys who support me via buy me a coffee or by just hitting the super thanks button below the video or by using my Amazon wishlist. That means a lot to me and thank you. As you guys can see there are some pretty significant marks in the veneer. So I decided to try using my iron and some moisture to raise the fibers and make it easier for me to sand it. I repeated this several times until I felt like it was good enough. I let it dry in the sun and I sanded it with 180 grit and it looked great. I think I was so happy with my result that I was massaging the veneer but anyhow I was able to see what I was working with and what type of veneer I needed to fix it. There was a large chunk of wood missing from one of the legs, so I replaced it and I used my chisel and my plane to shape it.
I'm not sure what happened to this pool drawer, but despite sanding and using oxalic acid, the stains were still visible. So I flipped this panel upside down and I used the bottom side which was in a reasonable condition. The feet on this desk were carved and there was some intricate design on the drawers and the doors and I didn't want to ruin it by sanding it, so I used my sandblaster to take the varnish off and it worked really well. There was questionable art on one of the shelves, so I cleaned it up as much as I could, I flipped it upside down and I put it back in place. When I was done cleaning the desk, I used my Hoto Multi tool and a wire brush to clean up the hardware as the finish wasn't very nice from sandblasting. And I spray painted the hinges to match the hardware. There was a piece of wood missing from one of the drawer faces, so I replaced it and I shaped it to match the
There were also some small imperfections and holes and I used two different wood fillers and I didn't mix them well on purpose to better match the color of the wood. So as I mentioned before the veneer on this desk was in a bad shape and despite my best effort there were still some imperfections so I wanted to blend them in by using a color and to do that I used white wood dye to help me blend those imperfections in with the rest of the design. So basically what I'm trying to do here is to get a semi see-through look and I think that if I were to do this again I would actually use paint and do a whitewash. Because I only did one coat and I did a little bit of sanding I still managed to get what I wanted and the wood grain would still show and with the top coat it's pretty much what I wanted. I don't think I've ever used an oil-based top coat but I had this can sitting around for a long time and because this is extra pale finish I thought it was perfect for what I wanted. It was super easy to apply and once dry it actually looked very matte. And for the inside of this desk I use Restore Finish on the door and Beeswax on the rest of it. Before I show you the photos, I just wanted to say guys, thank you so much for your support and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as this helps YouTube think that this video is good and it's worth recommending to others. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.